we are often exposed to ionizing radiation, either on the floors as patients get portable x-rays or in the cath lab. So all of us reasonably try to avoid extra exposure. If you travel by air and are subject to those vexing body scanners, does this increase radiation exposure or not? Well, now in the Archives of Internal Medicine, there is a special article estimating the potential risk from full body scanning machines found in most U.S. airports. And it suggests that there does not appear to be a significant radiation threat to air travelers. So far, the TSA has deployed 486 scanners in 78 airports in the United States with an estimated 1,000 scanners to be deployed by the end of 2011. Most of us are content that the levels of radiation emitted by these scanners are really low. The exposure of the scans is 0.1 microsievert. However, none of us wants any extra. So how does this translate into our usual activity? Every waking minute, we are exposed to cosmic rays, and it turns out that the scans deliver the, an amount of radiation equivalent to three to nine minutes of the radiation received through normal daily living. Not a lot. When compared to other sources of radiation, an individual would have to undergo more than 50 airport scans to equal the exposure of a single dental x-ray, a thousand airport scans to equal the exposure of a chest film, 4,000 airport scans to equal a mammogram, and 200,000 airport scans to equal the exposure of an abdominal or pelvic CT scan. The authors went on to model the risk of exposure to radiation among air travelers and incident cancers, but this is tricky business. It seems to me that based on what is known about the scanners, passengers should not fear going through the scans for health reasons, as the risks are truly trivial. If individuals feel vulnerable and are worried about the radiation emitted by the scans, they might reconsider flying altogether, since most of the small but real radiation risks they will receive will come from the flight and not from the exceedingly small exposures from the scans. Nevertheless, any further information on what the scanners produce should be carefully monitored. We do not want to be caught napping. And it would seem prudent for the TSA to continue testing to verify the safety of these devices. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardiSource Heart Minute.